This demo, we're going to take a look at NAS tiering with Cohesity. In this example, we have an Isilon share. I'm going to go ahead and come over to my Isilon called text. And essentially, this is where all the files are stored today. If I were to click over here, and if I head into Finder, and what you can see here, just to show that I connected to the Isilon, I use this SMB path over there which brought all of those files up. So the goal with this then is to not change the user experience. So the user is still going to come into this file path to get at their files. But in reality, with the tiering approach, the data will be stored on the Cohesity when we're done. And the user will see that because the icon here will change just slightly. But at the same time, their workflow didn't change because the path didn't change. So let's go over to the Cohesity so I can show you how this is done. In the Cohesity, what we do is go to File Services, and in this case, we choose Data Migration. Essentially, we have a data migration job that I'll take a look at here with you. We are, as I mentioned, using the Isilon, and more specifically, we're pointing at that SMB share over there. Other settings that we have on this data migration job are we can migrate based on last access or last modified. We can do it based on a period of time, and we can even be more specific in terms of like the larger than or smaller than file sizes and we have the option to be quite granular on that. We also can schedule this to run on a routine interval so that it's constantly doing the storage tiering and pulling that data over to the Cohesity off of the Isilon. So in terms of running this, I'm going to come back and I'll do a run now. And then as we watch functions, we'll see the tiering process start in just a moment. Okay, so now, as you can see here, the data has started tiering. These pointers essentially mean that it's now stored on the Cohesity, as these items are not. And that wraps up this demo.